Hello?
How y'all doing? Hi. Mm -hmm. Bro, sorry that waiting stream is so long. I had to, uh... Well, I'm not feeling good, so, like, first of all, I was moving through the house mad slow, okay? But I got water, so... Yeah. Yeah, before this, uh, I was like, uh, I was laying in my bed like, uh, I go on stream or like, I don't really know. Then I got up, I walked around for a bit. I was like, I don't feel like I'm dying and I hit the start stream button. <laughs> That's it. But now I'm vibing. You have a fever? No. Well, I might sound like I have a fever. Bro, my sinus has been fucked up for like months. But no, I don't have a fever. I have like, I'm chronic, I have a chronic disease. Uh, Mega, blah, 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 blah. Mega Gaming, thanks for eight months. Thank you, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling better. Well, thanks. I'm honestly not, bro, okay. Let me be honest, chat. I've been having this, like, really bad, like, nerve pain. Like, really bad. And thing was, with nerve pain, is like, um, Nothing really helps with it. Like, I would have taken like, like aspirin, ibuprofen. Uh, that was. What is the other drug called? Okay, I'm gonna just say Tylenol. I don't remember what the generic name is off the top of my head right now. I know what it is, but like, I just can't think of it. The generic like name brand for Tylenol, um, or any like other over the acetaminophen. That's what it was, but I didn't think I was correct. Okay. Yeah. Acetaminophen, uh, ibuprofen, uh, aspirin, any of that. Um, it doesn't work. It doesn't do shit. So. Yeah. Someone said NyQuil. Yo, NyQuil does not help with pain. Wait, duck? I know damn well NyQuil is not help with pain. That's for like colds and shit. For like your like allergies, it helps you like be like, you know? NyQuil knocks you out? I'll be honest, NyQuil does not knock me out at all. That shit don't even make me tired, bro. <laughs> that shit don't even make me tired. And that's the in it? Oh, I had no idea. I don't take it because it doesn't work for me. You take stronger meds? Oh, yeah. I do. Yeah, no. But so. And then I tried a new med. And I don't know if that was making me worse. But I stopped it in case it was. Then there was another new med that I've been trying that I low-key forgot about. And I don't know if it's that. But that's an injectable. So, like, once that's in, you're kind of fucked. And you got to deal with it for, like, X amount of time. So like, I don't know what's been up, but the past two weeks, um, I've been feeling like shit. Uh, Punish the five gifted. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You gotta get to make sure you say thank you. I did get a slice of cake. What I miss? Uh, nothing much. Hope your cake's good. And how are you? Thanks so much for the soup up. With my birthday tomorrow, I was planning to roast. I was planning to roast for the mint ice cream comment a while back, but all back off. Hope you feel better. Well, thanks. I mean, you can roast me tomorrow. Am I streaming tomorrow? I think I am, yeah. You can roast me then.
Mar, I'm playing Q Remaster. Oh my god. Yo, you wanna know what's funny? You know, I was fucking struggling to like get a mouse for that shit. I tried like three. Now it's on Steam, so I don't even need to worry about it. And on to, to add insult to injury, the day they add it to Steam, I buy a new mouse and the mouse works on my Switch. Like, and you know, demo, I'm not going to play the Switch version now that there's a Steam version because I don't want the latency and all that issues. So I'm dead just going to play the one on, the, on Steam. What? <laughs> Joe, can you name drop the man that makes you stop dreaming? I can't keep having dreams about my husband leaving me and then sleeping with VTubers. Um, yeah, it's called a therapist. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hello? The reason I'm on that medicine is because I think if you go into that deep sleep state, like you can die or something. I don't remember. Something like really bad can happen. I mean, like, so I don't know. So that's why it's like made in a way that it keeps you up low key. I don't know exactly why it does that. Or maybe it's just a side effect. I don't remember. It's either like a protective measure or it's just an unfortunate side effect. Um, I don't remember which one it was. But yeah. I was a play the stream on two times speed. Can you do that to live streams? Wait. How does that work? You just have does it just load when it catches up? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, it's literally like, it's not even really sped up. It just resets the playback speed. It just stops when it catches up. Oh, what's the point of that? The fuck? Is it an echo? No, I echo because I listened to it. Because I was like, what are y'all talking about? I was like, there's no way you can watch live content faster than it's being broadcasted. Uh, Hiromi, thanks so much for the super. Get well soon. Thank you. Um, Arma, thanks for the six months. Are you my appendix? Because I feel like I should take you out. Anyways, hope you enjoy the game and feel better. Thank you. And Lim out. Thanks for five months. Six months soon. Shout out to the gifters. Yo, shout out to the fucking gifters, bro. They carry. The gifters carry. The gifters carry. I can see the future? No, you can't. Hey, Kel, hope you're doing fine. Take your time. Thank you, Lauren Lee. Thanks for the, uh, 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 thanks for the membership. And Bomb Bomb, thanks for the eight months. And Mimi, thanks for the six. Thank you. Hope you feel better. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to be honest. I don't know shit about this game. Okay. Um, I just know some British man. Is he British? Why should be like Australian or some shit? I forgot. Some dude talks to you and you're like in a room. In my country, we call strong meds meds for horses. Translating it literally. I wonder if there's an equivalent in English. Yeah, it's called ketamine. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I'm be honest. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. But like meds for horses, horse tranquilizer is literally called ketamine. So. Wait, is this game motion sick and inducing? I thought it was like a slow walkthrough. I didn't think it was like fast motion. No. Not fast. The slow walk. Mainly walking. Okay, bet. 
That's fine then. Normally, like, I don't get fucked up from walking in games unless it's like Portal. I don't know what it is about Portal, bro. I don't know how they coded that bitch or how they made the 3D space simulation. Like, they made that shit way too fucked off from reality. But that shit fucks me up. I don't know what it is with Portal, man. Or, no, I don't know. I'm not even talking about going in the portals. I mean, if I'm walking anywhere in the game in Portal, like just in the hallway, it fucks me up. I don't even gotta be. I don't even have to place portals. Pepper Juice is ace of the soup. Um, this is my favorite game, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, is this game long? I heard it was like pretty short too. And Mimi, thanks for the six months. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Motion sensitive. I don't really get like motion sick to where like I'll throw up, but I just like feel shitty. But also like. All endings are bonkers long. Well, you know how I am. Uh, I never do that shit. Fuck that. Okay, all endings my ass. I'm my ending is the one I get. Okay, fuck this extra shit. Length six to seven months. Are you Ari? Cause you always end up charming me. No, fuck Ari from League of Legends. That that champion is so. I hate it. I hate that charm ability. With all my soul, I would rather be rooted. I would rather be rooted. I would rather get hit with a Morgana Q. That shit lasts longer, but in my opinion, if I can still attack you, it's not a wrap for me. Weekly administrative reminder to keep brainstorming your one-year badges is two months and 21 days. Okay, thanks for the update. I'll do something one day. Why does my OC have to be a league player? Um, Because I hate myself. What do you expect from me, huh? You, you self-love? What is that? Who is she? I don't know her. Oh, did I tweet that I was live yet? Oh, no, I did it. Hold on one sec. Hello, I'm live Twitter. Um, I hate life, but maybe I can make you hate it a little less. Live now, Pog. Okay. I need to order food too. Yeah, low-key today, I wanted to edit a video and I just could not, bro. I felt like so shitty. What did I do today? Oh, my God. I woke up. I ain't do shit all day. Shit. I like dookie butter. Uh, you, thanks for the soup. I hope you feel better. I miss you so much. Well, thank you. Yeah, I don't know what it is, man. I want to sort this out because if I feel like this for the next month, I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm not going to be able to stream that much. This shit is mad hard. Right now, I'm struggling. But I want to stream because, like, I would just be sitting in my room alone bored. Otherwise. Okay, let me... No subtitles, English. Oh God, is this bright or am I tripping? Oh, my monitor is bright as fuck right now. Hold up. Ew. I'll make that shit zero brightness. Yes, sir. Why is it so bright? Oh God. 
Have you played the Stanley Parable before? No. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. I'm gonna just go with default settings anyways, because I don't give a fuck. Enter the current time. Uh... Okay. Alright. Field of view back. Camera sensitivity okay. Controller vibration on. Um, who is that? Sut sut sud I thought I was trying to say subtle, but it's subtitled. Uh, reduce motion yes please low dexterity reduces difficulty for time sensitive insert low key like i should click this but nah auto walk wait what how does this work So betrayed, I can't believe he's American. Can you not tell by the way I spoke that I was American? Do I sound not American to you? I have no little, I have no like cute little Ren Luca accent. I don't have a scuffed Vox Mr. accent. And I'm not Canadian because I went to visit Canada in the past. So there's only so many places that I could be from to sound like this. And I eliminated all three of them in past history lessons. Unless I was like one of those people who like doesn't live in a, like an English speaking country and just knows English like fluently, which is like not me because I'm stupid. So. Also, how would I be from Mexico and I know no Spanish? What? Pause. What do I do? Just not leave my house? Okay, wait. Uh, what is auto watch? Should I turn that off? So Brazil, they speak Portuguese in Brazil. I would need to know Portuguese. Cause I know y'all like me speaking Spanish, but that doesn't mean I know Spanish. It walks for you, like the whole game. Okay, let me make it toggleable, maybe. Ventu, Ventu, yo, shh. Jump, interact, interact, crouch, auto walk, toggle. Okay, cool. Uh, is this good? Fuck it. Make this shit like 95. Okay. Let's go. I thought this was Niji JP. Really? Oh my God, you must like. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company. I'm starting to feel like I should have uh, kept the volume at default. Hold up, my fault, my fault. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, we're Stanley. In a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons. Look at his posture, bro. Orders oh came my to him god. A monitor on his desk. Yo. When I spoke, the amount of spit that came out of my mouth was insane. I don't know if y'all heard that shit. But oh my god. 
Yo, what the fuck happened? Hold on. Okay, we're good. I don't know what happened, bro. It's like I had like a little, little like saliva just in the crevice of my mouth and I said something and it just popped right out. Okay. Anyway, Stanley looked like he hated his life and I do too. So, you know, we won in the same. Telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Wait, that's this it? This is what employee 427 did every day. Can they cut a robot to do this? Of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Loki, I would have just listened to like a podcast or like some TV while doing this. I wouldn't be too mad. You could literally just like and watch then one day, a show. Something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for well, him. Well, still getting pain and just no chill. one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Oh my god. Something was very clearly The Matrix wrong. is breaking. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. You work in the back rooms? Oh my god, I gotta reduce the sensitivity. Woo wee! Don't put that shit at like a smooth two. Um There we go. All of his co-workers were gone. Why do we move so fast? Can I move slower? Cause you got auto walk on. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Bro, auto walk. That didn't do anything. Wait, what are you talking about? I love you with your seventies. Very now, ninety is better. What? Oh. I actually feel like I hate that more. Wait, what happens if I make it like 50? I don't know, man. I'm gonna go like a smooth 76. I don't have to go auto walk. Oh my god, I have it on and he just moves. What the fuck? Um. Hello? I love it when you stop walking, he keeps sliding. Hello? I hate Mondays. I hate every day. Inaccurate. I mean, me, Miko, thanks so much for the soup. I think they do. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, well, fuck you. I'm going on my right, bitch. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Just to um, admire it. No, I did not. You're just a bitch and no one likes you. Wait, where's the employee lounge? Are there are there snacks? Hello? Hello, 448. Damn, they got a big office and no tape. God, there's the back rooms. Guys, I see the back rooms, bro. That's where the fuck they went. That's where they went. Yo, y'all motherfuckers think I'm stupid. 
This is like the backrooms game before the backrooms existed. Low key, the back like this game should sue the backrooms. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. This room looks like shit. Why is the narrator lying to me? Immaculate my ass. The only thing immaculate is yes. like the exit. Really, really worth it being here in the room, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Warning, do not climb while cargo, it will cause death. Can I die? But in his eagerness to prove <laughs> that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley <laughs> left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. You can Everyone die! You're very That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. I love death. Oh my God. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, narrator's dialogue is changing. When Stanley came to a set of two right, open doors, I'll try this side. he entered the door on his left. I'll try this one. You know what? I, my head hurts, so I'll just listen to you, narrator. You might get my ass killed, but... Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I love how one of the meeting things is get Chris out of the broom closet. What is Chris? Who is Chris and why is he in the broom closet? What, you got some like random dude that don't work here living in the fucking broom closet? Like what, some random ass dude doesn't work at the company just like have like a hut in the broom closet. Also, what are we meeting for? We literally get commands on a computer and just like press space. Wait, I wish the same slide depicts on the same information. Rate of increase of graphs per slide. Stop. Trigger 20 things you love most about your boss. No. What, what the fuck type of company is this, bro? Why did we hire you? Remember, it takes two people to start a fight and you're one of them. Clear skin. Success. Travel. Hope. Less air. Pollution? Mitosis is your dream for the future? Tips are not getting fired. Talk less. <laughs> they said talk less. Let it ball up inside you. Take out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more and let it ball up inside of you. Okay. New slides to ensure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic, a header, and throw on some text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. Everyone is unique. You most of all. Wow, they all look like NPCs. I'm not gonna lie. This, this, this is the realest PowerPoint I've ever seen in a work office, bro. Legit, like, they're not telling any lies, okay? That's, that, that's what they want you to do. They don't give a fuck if you're passive aggressive. As long as you get your job done and you don't cause direct conflict. Who moved my desk? Please keep the name, keep the targets of the on the topic of, and someone erased it. Papers are too synergized. Fire the paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the synergized guy. Synergized papers. Standardized graphs. 40x wide. Not cost efficient. Push for the funding of R plus D of new coffee machine.
employees 417 491 431 405 and then some dude named jim i want to know who chris is though why he in the broom closet chris what you what you hiding from us bruh monetize free to play shift global market oh my god are they a gotcha game monetize free to play yo free to play mmo players you know oh you did not lock my ass in here mr narrator Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. Where's so he Chris? And got back on track. Where the fuck is Chris, bro? Where's my Oshi oh, Chris, huh? Where is Chris? Why is Chris not in the there broom closet? Here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Did Chris jump off the ledge too? My God, I relate to him even more. My Oshi oh, is so relatable. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Hello? Can I get the paper? Hello? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why Wait, can I not leave? Risk? Wait, All what the fuck? I just wanted to explore. Vanished, his boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Nah, you're not finna pull this matter, on me. These rooms nah, nah, shut the fuck up, narrator. Stop, stop, stop talking. Repeating. Stop, stop, shut the no, fuck up. No, shut the himself. fuck up. Yo, called... yo, shut the fuck up. You're not about to make me paranoid. Stop talking, man. I was trying to ignore the fact that I had no feet and that I was getting locked in rooms like I was on some fucking like choice path that was a linear and I had one or the other. Okay, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. My God, I try to ignore the problems in my life that are small enough to be ignored and you keep bringing them up, okay? I already feel like shit and you're over here like, oh my God, you don't have feet. The doors are closing, you're getting locked in. There are three clocks, what do they mean? Each one's a time of death of ABC, but what are ABCD? I don't know. Like, yo, narrator, shut up. Too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above okay, the ground. Okay, what? No. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much Yo, you're not about to Star Wars and, and light, light blast my ass. Still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One, he was amazed. Yo, I already feel like shit, sooner. man. I'm deluded with my pain. Why, Why are you doing is this? Is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice. What in the Edith Finch am I playing right now? What in the twin mirror is happening? 
pause. You're trying to tell me. I'm either in Inception, The Matrix. I have some split personality issue. I got like DID or something. Or I dead ass woke up with such a bad headache that I started imagining shit that wasn't happening. Which has happened to me before, but like... I already am like halfway there and now this game is like fully put me there. So I was like, I'm tripping X2, okay? If I was like a normal person playing this game and I didn't feel like I was dying or like my, my, my nerves were going ape shit where I felt like I was disassociating, this would be a little less trippy. The problem is I already feel like I'm tripping and now I'm tripping in the game too? Were you tripping X2? What is this shit? Oh my God. Oh my God. Why? Is this torture? Light the torch. Yo thought the game was messing with him. You not about to do it. Chat, I swear to God. No, 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 no. I swear to God, if y'all play this shit, if you play this shit where you're like, oh, there is no, there is Sayori. Who's she? What? Who, who's she? I don't know who she is. What voice are you talking about? Your mom in my bedroom, stupid. Yeah, how's it feel now, huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Bitch. Arsenal, thanks to the Suba and Mira, thanks to the Suba. The narrator's my new Oshi. Yo, y'all love narrators, man. You love text to speech. You love this guy. What about me, huh? All right, Valley, thanks for the membership. Thank you. Describing what about me? me? Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. All right, shut up. I'm just keep moving. I'm acting like you don't exist. Thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Yes. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice You're not trying to tell me I just saw the same room twice. Stanley. No! After all, no! Beyond a doubt I just saw this! this. A dream. No. Did the voice not see him flow no. to make the magical no. stars just no. a moment no. ago? No, no, How else no, would the no, voice no, let me that? out. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. He is, what the fuck? No, 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 no. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world. Oh my God, you did not chloroform my ass, narrator. Let me wake up. You did not chloroform my ass. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing No, I don't want to push buttons either. Please. It's all I want. Oh my God, I should have just died. I like I'm God to have that as my ending. And my wife and my job. I have a wife? All I want is my life. Exactly okay, maybe low key, like this reality isn't that bad then. For real. My is she pretty? Life is normal. I am normal. Everything. Why are you lying to me right now? That's not true. You're coping. I'm coping. I if that's me, these are my thoughts. Okay. I'm coping. I'm not okay, clearly. Coping is okay. You know, why, co why mope when you can cope? Stanley began screaming. Please don't be loud. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh, fuck no. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking what? and screaming to himself. What? And then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance... You did not for kill me! a few brief moments... I stood in a room! Breath. How did I die? Was obviously what? This much she knew. No, 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 no,
It was comforting to think this. You had and one job. What was my job? This man made her feel better. Motherfucker was making then me trip. I'm not gonna run around in the office when I'm seeing there. red, bro. You know how hard that is? Okay, I already got motion sickness. The fuck, yo, this game is against yeah. people with motion sickness. I'm telling you, bro. This shit is uh, yeah, this shit is ableist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. It. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. And then she turned and ran. Wait, so do I get to play as a girl now? You are fucking lying to me, bitch. I don't even get to play as Mariella or whatever the fuck. She left the dead body too. That's crazy, bro. What if I just spam buttons? Uh. Dad, do you like my typing ASMR? Hello, welcome to uh, welcome to the the Kill Smart Channel. Today, I'm gonna we're gonna try out this new waterproof keyboard. I'm gonna give it kisses like on Vox, okay? Oh, I can see my spit dripping in between the keys. It's very uh waterproof. Keyboard is still currently RGB light lit up. Um, it's actually reactive to my, my, my spit. Uh, the patterns are changing. I didn't even know the, the Razor Chroma had a setting for this. Um, you sound like a gremlin learning to type. Yeah, you ever go into like a doctor's office and there's that like uninterested ass lady? Yo, people, listen. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. You go into like a, a doctor's office. There's that lady sitting in the chair, partially slouching, typing like this. Taste in their mouth, chewing on some gum. Kind of like doing this as they're typing. Normally their hair is in a bun. They're looking down like... You walk in the room. Hello. Oh, you're here to see Dr. Brown. Okay. Here's your paperwork. Oh, do you need a pen? Okay. Oh, uh, Maria, uh, uh, can you get this for me? And the phone rings. They just keep typing. Hello, this is, um, this is Dr. Brown's office. You're speaking to, uh, Tiffany. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have an opening on Thursday the 10th. Okay, I'll put that down. Uh huh. Just one second. Uh huh. Oh, you done with your paper paperwork? Thank you so much. Uh, the doctor will be out shortly. Grabs the clipboard. And she just keeps typing, talking. Uh huh. So we have an opening on the schedule on the um, I think the fifteenth. Okay. Yeah. Literally, I swear to God. I swear to God. Every doctor's office, every, every time I go, it's literally exactly like this. They sound like they hate their job. They're chewing on some gum. They're typing on the keyboard. They're half slouching. They look up at you. They look pissed off that you're even asking them for like, you know, to sign into the receptionist desk. Like they look annoyed when you walk in. Like, hello, I'm here to see whatever. They're like, uh-huh, name. And they just keep typing. Get a breath. I swear, like, every time, man, my God, how many office ladies have you annoyed? None. I just walk up, ask for my name or I tell them my name. I have an appointment and they give me the clipboard. I sit down. Normally they have like their hair in a clip. 
if they're like not a receptionist lady they have some scrubs on and then they have matching nails for the scrubs and they're just typing i swear every time like i swear bro am i crazy why you have beef with a receptionist i don't i'm just saying that's how it is every time and then there's going to be someone in the fucking waiting room screaming on the phone. Or like they're going to have some kid running around and they're not going to fucking take care of the kid. Or both. If you're really unlucky, they'll be on the phone and their dumbass kid will be running around and they won't give a fuck. And they'll be loud as fuck on the phone. I swear. There's always that obligatory person just on the phone. Oh my God. I need to stop going to doctor's offices, bro. I dead feel like it's the same every time. Holy shit, man. My God. Or they're like way too friendly to the point where it creeps me out. Nah, bro. I went through this yesterday. I swear. Okay, I'm not crazy. Thank you for your keyboard ASMR. You're welcome, Lulu. Let's go. Kill Kona Co. Certified bad ending speed run. Bro, I don't understand, Plum. All Do I just have to walk and gone. ignore this fucker? What like, mean? I'll just Stand turn my volume down. I don't give a fuck. Room. Perhaps he blah, 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 narrator. You're stupid. No one likes you. Uh, dumb bitch. Ha ha, he he. Okay. When he came to a set of two open mm -hmm. doors, he entered the uh -huh. door on his left. Yep. Mm hmm. Okay, cool. Yep. The, 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 Yet there the was room. Not a single person no one's in the room. Either. Okay. Mm hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, mm -hmm. Stanley decided to go up mm -hmm. to his boss. Yeah, so we're going downstairs again because Stanley that's where we left off last time. To his Fuck office. you, narrator. No one likes you. You're a bitch, anyways. Um, I'm gonna just keep walking just and I'm gonna ignore the whole lucid dream shit. That never happened. Of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work mm -hmm. hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, all right, so I found the strategy. You just keep walking. Risk. All because he believed Fuck this story. Everyone Fuck what's happening. I'm gonna just keep walking. His boss would think he was crazy, and then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Are you serious? And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? How why is this the same ending? I thought I died because I stood still. What? Okay. God damn, man. So, like, after I go in the room, the ending set. Tripping so much, you're basically playing hopscotch. Thanks, James, down for the super. Lulu, thanks for the super as well. ASMR of Kill Roleplays a receptionist, and the ASMR I didn't know I wanted until now. Bro, All I swear, every receptionist is, is the same, bro. Well, there's that one girl in the back the of the class room. that's like, uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like playing with her now. Bro, I swear. When Stanley came to a set of two open So do doors, I just have to listen to this fucker? Like, I don't understand. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. I want to just stay in the broom closet. No, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. I'm just staying here. Yeah, how y'all doing? I feel safer in here. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, but, you know, I'm a little bit scared. I feel like I'm doing one of those confessionals for, like, those reality TV shows. You know, like, on some, like, uh, Total Drama Island shit. Yo, Chris, where you at, bro? Come on. You in the pipes, man. Are you in the walls? My God, Chris, come on. Chris! I need to get the fuck out of this place, bro. Please. Uh, Dev Sleep, thanks for the super. Kyo, I got the birthday merch. Your general hashtag is fine for photos of your of it. Wait. Of it set up. Yeah. Also, my mom visited. So I showed it to her and she's upset. I didn't give her any of it. I didn't know she wanted it. Oh, yeah, you can put in the general hashtag. Just blur the message on the acrylic, like, uh, stand, frame thing? Frame stand? Yeah. Other than that, you're good. Yeah, put in my general tag. If you're not sure where to put it and it relates to me, just put in my general tag. That's, like, the good rule, you know? But thank you so much for buying the merch, Dev. I appreciate it. And Alice, thanks for the five months. Wow, not my favorite little man playing my favorite little game. I love to see it. Okay. First of all. 
I will not. I'm no one's little man, and this is no one's little game. This is insanity. My boss's office is like a different building. What the fuck? Executive bathroom. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money. My man got a magazine about bathrooms in his bathroom. What in the Victorian architecture? I got us a panda with a gun. Business strategy. Where are we like, are we like fucking fronting for like the mafia or something, bro? I don't know, fam. It's starting to seem like we in some money laundering scheme. Personally. Yeah, so. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any. Why is the life. ceiling so high? Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, two eight. Four, five. Well, there's nothing else to do in here, so Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct what? by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Um, so like, why does this look like it's going to be like Outlast 3 or something, man? Like, hello? Yo, fun fact, it's confirmed that the creator of the game that the narrator isn't divorced, but is the spiritual embodiment of divorce. The more you know. This game has something to do with divorce. I'm so confused, but right now I'm just tripping through the back room. Anyways, tell you me. Thanks for the super. Thank you, thank you. And Bayer Valley, thanks for the membership. Um, it's a little dark in here. Um, narrator, can I have some lights? Is that an elevator? What's this? Hello? Ah. Uh. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Yo, we're this no longer a bot or an NPC, that's crazy. Long. Nah, cause this looked like the cell of Outlast now. I don't fuck with this, Let take me back. Yo, you know that you know that one uh dungeon in Final Fantasy where you like break into the Stanley walks oh! ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, you know when you like you go into like the 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 Praetorium, there's that one part where you like in the robots, you shooting arms and shit. That's what this looks like. You know, I'm like in the robot right now in Final Fantasy, like <laughs> Mind Control Facility, escape. Okay, so there's no door. So clearly. This won't 
close behind me, right? Okay, here's the thing. Listen. If you see my control room and then you see escape. If they're really good at mind control, they're going to mind control you by scaring you with this into going to the escape. So personally, I'm not falling for that bullshit. So we're going to go into this room. The lights rose on an enormous room. Oh my God, this looks like the screens. room in from X-Men. What horrible secret did this place hold? This looks like the room from X-Men. to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? This is like the room from X-Men. Okay, is that Braille? Can I zoom in on these? How do I... Hello? Why does it say I'm clicking when I'm like, there's no keyboard? Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. My God, it's all Each the employees. Bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Um... Chris, so like, where you at, bro? Because I'm trying to go in the closet with you, to be honest. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to... How is it mind control when you're true. just intentionally doing and what's on the keyboard? under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated... I mean, if you're happy being manipulated, I guess. Shout out to you, for real. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. No, I'm, I'm okay with this, actually. In someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Yeah. Had he truly spent his entire Listen, I'm be honest. No one's immune to propaganda, okay? To the world? Nobody is. There's enough of it. You'll believe it. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content walk my control status working, offline all of it monitored and commanded from this very place and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power and i turn it on human life for he would dismantle the controls once i look you want to turn it on and see what happens though controls disabled my God, why are you reminding me about my reality, bro? Come on, what the fuck? This game is so fucked up, bro. I swear. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was this like some, some secret dungeon when you die? My God, it looked kind of cool, though. What happens if I go in here? Literally is not that yo how lame. It was starting to look like that that intro from Naruto where like Sasuke is getting bit by fucking Orochimaru's creepy ass. My controls awaiting input. What's this do? Five. Sorry, I felt a little peaceful for a second, you know?
Mind controls idle, waiting input, and system when at last power. He found the source of the room's power. I'll turn this bitch on. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yeah. Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much Oh, you didn't even say anything. I just I'm clicked the button immediately. The Maybe you should you speak up you quicker, example, stupid. You were so slow opening your fucking mouth, but you will never hold your tongue Stanley after I do something. You have an opinion after I do something. But the thing is, the thing is, before I do something, you have no opinion. But after I do, you open in your mouth yapping. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Maybe if you said something faster, I would have listened to your stupid ass story. But you were so slow reading in between fucking paragraphs. You got up during story time to get a glass of fucking water, bro. And you pissed. Bitch, I don't care. Now, this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Yeah, tell me, stupid. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate so to I gotta find the go, one. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? Man, where's the one at, bro? Extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen. Wait, I opened the door for a second. These numbers How did I do no, it? These colored ones, or maybe this big red button. Or this How did door. I do it? Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? Five. One solved? Five, two, one? Idea what your oh, shit, you right. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I figured it out. You're in for yeah, stupid. But here's I beat you a little puzzle, dumbass. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Uh huh. You're only still yeah, I don't believe you, narrator, because I just got the door open by pure accident, stupid. Powerless to see you made humble. This is not a challenge. <laughs> It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That was it five two one? I thought it was five one two. I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's thirty seconds you have left to struggle. Thirty seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Zero five two one. Where's zero? Oh, you let it go peacefully. Another choice. I actually don't remember where zero Make is. Oh, damn. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be I'm out of time. Every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Okay. 
Listen, I found the code. I don't give a fuck, Narrative. You can suck my whole ass fucking existence away, stupid bitch. Want to have some control over my life? Think you're important? I don't give a fuck about who you are, man. No one cares. No one likes you. You're not cool. You're not funny. You're not unique. I don't find you entertaining. I just find you annoying. Okay, so honestly, I'm going to just keep doing my own thing and stop talking to you. Oh, my name is Narrator, and I think I'm very proper. I'm going to speak Yet, like I'm Vox Akuma and try to speak either. using big vocabulary and words to assert my intelligence. Stanley and suddenly, I feel like I know what the fuck office. I'm doing, even He'll though I'm actually quite staircase. stupid Stanley and very dumb. And I'm actually just trying office. to make you feel like you have control when you don't. But on accident, you found out my code, and now I feel very stupid. Oh, how what's a pity, huh? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. Warren Troy, thanks so much for the super. This game was made 10 years back for desk, us. Slow ass boomer, please understand. Shelf, looking behind paintings. Yeah, they remade it though. Desperate for clues to his situation. 245, I think, Chad. attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. Yeah, bye. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. To Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute yeah, to just fuck you, narrator. Nobody likes you, bitch. Talk. That kind of anxiety. Isn't I don't healthy. care, bitch. So he relaxed Shut the fuck up. Some calming new age music. Oh my god. I will close the game, you Feeling stupid bitch. And rejuvenated, no. Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. The narrator is not roasting me, okay? He's just being a fucking annoying bitch. Personally. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, I'm next to the super. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Thank you, thank you. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in Okay, was it 0512 or 0521? Because I swear I pressed one and then two. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be Five, true. Five, two, one, I pressed Had two Stanley first? Had really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. Thank you, thank you. In someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? No. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Tell me that trolling you, you can't beat the eating, countdown ending, working, but I opened it! monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley what? decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. It's all fake buttons, but I got the door open, did I not? The narrator said you can't shut it off. Well, fuck the narrator, man. Ain't nobody like him anyways, bruh. Wait, is the door open right now?
Kel, when have we ever lied to you? <laughs> I know you're not asking that dumbass question in front of my face. I know you're not asking that. <laughs> Y'all bugging, bro. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Yo, I know you're just mad. You're like the fucking Was bootleg Morgan Freeman, bro. It's okay, man. It happens. You can't play God and have the voice of yes. God in everything. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. This is a screen. That was all There's no way. To know. This is it a screen. Was perhaps the only thing worth this is a screen. Stanley stepped through the open door. This is a screen, right? Did not? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. Is the whole point of this game to get you to walk outside? New path oh, hell no. This was exactly the way right now. Okay, this is kind of peaceful though. To happen. And Stanley was happy. What? Why are you lying? My God, is it trying to tell me that touching grass will make me happy? Did Ren make this game? What? Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? You got he me fucked up. It was. He hoped very much that it was. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes, this room, but eager okay, to I'm gonna do this this time, but I'm not gonna Stanley kill myself like I did last time. His left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. On God. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. Nah, because you tried to kill me before. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh. Someone you've forgotten about. Oh. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. No. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. What? To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Why you sound like you're crying, bro? Are you okay? You got more emotions than me. You're the narrator. Aren't you supposed to be like Stonewall? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. 
All right, what's up, bitch? How you doing? Hey. Anyways, um, sorry for uh, you know, the f about you cheating on me, but I'll give a fuck. I'm still breaking up with you, dumb bitch. You? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, Red's not gonna I fix our relationship. I know you know that's what I like, but I know you cheated on me. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? No. Who'd want to commit their life to you? No. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. What? Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Huh? Oh, we're about to kill people? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing what in of the... him. And every button that he pushes Why is, this is house a reminder like this? of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Why she built like that, bro? But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he you did not get rid of my television for a fucking clock, bro. I analog to too. You couldn't even spare me like the the fuckery of getting me a digital clock. I analog clock, man. The analog. The thought excited him terribly. Press you to spend time with the boy. The boys? Okay, let's play. let's go, man. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. What? As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Tell your kids a story? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. Where are the boys, and again, man? And fuck again, this shit. Over and over. I'm gonna fuck about my kid. That it would never end that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Chris, I had to tell your wife I love her. I hate you, bitch. But there is no answer. Yep, How knew could it. there possibly be? Fucking abandon me, reality, stupid bitch. All he's doing Fuck is you. The same buttons he always has. You cheated Nothing on me. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm going to test your gangster. I'm going to not do it. But then the game isn't going to progress, though. You know what? How about this? I'm going to go pee. I'm going to go pee. If I come back and it's still showing this screen... 
I'm pressing the button. Okay, that's my timer. That's how much patience I'm gonna have with you, narrator. Okay? Fucking bitch. Yeah. I'm gonna go piss. I'm gonna go piss. I'm gonna go piss, baby girl. Okay? And we'll see. All right, bitch, you took too long. You took way too... Who do I look like sitting here waiting for Mr. Narrator Man to not do shit, okay? This is why you have to take life into your own hands because we got fuckers like this dumbass who legit sit around, they don't help you with anything, they don't do shit, and they'll expect you to listen to them. No, why am I listening to you, bitch? For what, huh? For who? For what? Ah. Uh, What are you providing me with, aside from a headache and some bullshit? I'm waiting. Where are my health benefits? Where is my, where is my, uh, my free food? Where is my lunch break? Huh? Where is my, um, where is my, uh, where is my, um, uh, where are my dental benefits? Where's my dental plan? You're gonna clean my teeth? You see? Can he just not hear No, me? I can't hear you. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Uh... Press M to question nothing. Okay, well, like, you're only giving me one option, and then you're trying to call me stupid for going with the one option you gave me. Realistically, you're dumb, narrator. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well... Maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Huh? Am I a fucking program, bitch? I'm so confused. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Welcome to the whiteboard ending.
Okay, well, this is what we already went through. The room's different. Chat was spamming trigger warning. Nothing triggering happened. I'm so confused. If a, if a black screen saying death is trigger warning, like... Yo, you need to find something to be triggered about. Dog mode. Okay. Now what? Do I just bark? Are you... Do I just bark now? Okay, I got that dog in me. Yeah, let's, let's go, bro. Hey, narrator. How about that, man? How's it feel, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You a bitch, right? For real, bro. For real. I can't believe narrator's doing this, bro. He's so fucking dumb, yeah. Bro, I know. We got that dog in him, and this narrator's just salty. Someone said furry ending. Wait. I think it was like, even if you stop and recover, you will relapse, pressing a button, and go on with such an act. I think that was the button. Wait, so they... I pressed the button? What the fuck is the whiteboard ending? I'm so confused. Anyways, Alenar, thanks for the eight months. Shy Sandra, thanks for the seven. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, so last time... I went to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that <laughs> Hi, that trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Can I unplug the phone? As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Sorry, I only speak no, bark. wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually... Chose incorrectly. Dogs can't help, uh, answer the that phone. Was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge but themselves to one another. That's tough. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. That's Not tough. picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. That's tough. How is that even possible? Because you're dumb. None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Yeah, stupid. <sighs> I got I that dog in me, unlike Stanley. Mistaken. 
This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment what? so we can educate you properly. No, on no, safe no, 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 Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert <sighs> has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no <laughs> time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational I mean, logic. That unlike the real world, this makes sense. does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. So they're basically Most telling us like how to not recommend how to making at least scope eight out choices AI. Per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember, that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. What? Where my coach ah, at? Welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction, but not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision-making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. This room looks a little different. They did not put a railing on my fucking shit. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Really? Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make what? no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. What? Right, so you're forcing my hand? Are you sick? Why are you childproofing my fucking decision making? I'm a grown ass Stanley. Well, I still got that dog in me. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Can I piss on the carpet? I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Cause Quickly. fuck you, Hurry bitch. back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. No. Oh my god, look at this cabinet, bro. Holy shit.
Can I literally not do anything? Kevin got the curves. Yeah. Oh, so I have to go this way. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my. Fuck work. your story, bitch. Why? Let me leave. For what? Let me what did leave. You get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Cause fuck you, like no so one likes you anyways, bro. You're so annoying, you speak like you're some now. righteous fucking bitch with a stick up your ass. No one cares about your righteousness, though. There's no righteousness in fucking control, incorrect. bitch. How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. Why don't you delete answer, yourself and then, like, do, let me, like, do leave? Do, do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. What? Ah? Huh? Still here, here in this um, garden, with you, you who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My yeah, fuck your game. Destroyed. Nobody likes you. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you Aww, run it into the ground. Cry. What did you I'm your river. Funny? You just had to see. Yep. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was? What I was to be doing like was Stanley. I was just I was just he checking for bugs. You know, I was I was I was testing the game. I, I was beta testing. There's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside. Yeah, of there you. is, and it's uh, you child. know, um, I don't want you to be a part of my world, so oh. leave. My story. I'm the child, but you're the grown man crying if about some story where you control people, left, huh? You seen it. There was a whole I'm, underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. I'm, I'm, it would have been so perfect. I worked so hard. I already on it. did that. I tried so hard and it was boring. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Your story was <clears> ass. That's why I started making my own. Doors. Okay, I walked into a Enter field and ate some left. grass. Fuck the grass, man. No. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. You reset this shit? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Oh no, Mr. Admin controls. No, I'm quite sure no. Just my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, bro, I love how the bar just went. Ah. The <laughs> right is right. I might be left-handed, but today I'm ambidextrous, bitch. He didn't even complain about me going this way. Oh my god, are we corrupting him? We fucked up so much he doesn't even care that we're fucking it up. My god, how great. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Why were you so late? Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead. Oh my God, he's getting fine. tired. All right. Yo, mm -hmm. we're testing his stamina. When Stanley came to a set of two open We're doors, testing his stamina. He entered the door on his left. My man lagged. You're lagging. We can we can break him and hack the gate. All right, chat. What y'all want to talk about while we wait for his uh his slow brain to catch up? See? Look at him. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What? So what do you think sack, back, sack, and crack means? I don't 
don't really know. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an You did not lock the closet room, you bitch. You fucking bitch. You did not lock the closet room. You did not. Coming to a staircase, we can't even go Stanley down the stairs upstairs anymore. to his boss's office. Bro, they really kill proof in this shit, bro. I can't even go to the pisser? I can't even go to the other rooms. Oh, this room look a little different. This room look a little, look a little Stepping different. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What the Shocked, fuck? unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. I... He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Um... <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. I'm, sp I'm speaking. He spoke it into the receiver. Right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Sorry, I can only bark. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This right, bro, is a I crucial bark. step. I don't, I don't speak English. Uh, no, I'm English. Uh, uh, I blow a uh, uh, okay, bark. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. 
If you uh, no hablo inglés. Uh, then why did you uh, come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door. I know, I right. speak woofoo. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself. Well, I tried, but you, you fucking... You fucking kitty proof the room, bitch. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, oh my he God. the door on his We head. can see ourselves. What the fuck? Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is oh my God. We have hacks mode. Stanley, please. Oh my God. I, yeah, Milton, thanks for the super. Thank you, thank you. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? No, bitch. I've escaped yeah. your trap. Is everything all right? Wait, what the... Stanley, this is important. Why do you sound so sad? The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. Keep crying. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Yeah, fuck your whatever story. Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do Cry. Something? Cry. Anything? Cry. Beg. This is more important than you can ever know. Beg. I need this. Cry. The story needs it. Yeah. Well, fuck your story. You hear me? I can't, but I'm ignoring you. Are you there? Are you listening to this, Stanley? Are you there? Look at my man just standing there. Okay. You hear him fax machine tones in his head. He's like, Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. I'm waiting for the narrator like spawn in like a hand that just moves him. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. <laughs> Can you even beat this game? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. New content. Oh, this is new content. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await um, in the Stanley Parable. I don't like Ultra this, like, bootleg Deluxe. Disney ride I'm oh, currently on. This sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. What is the point of this game? Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Up? Oh, here we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if, um... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. All right. All right, let's see. It's... the jump circle? Fuck this, I ain't jumping 35 times. Is... is that it? 
Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Like that. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Ah. Thank you for enjoying the new content. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fans <laughs> rush a cheap expansion to market Chiro! for no reason other than to Chiro! make an easy dollar. Chiro! Tell them! Tell them! Fucking greedy ass motherfuckers! Fact, right tell them! The achievements, and it's hard We're gonna to remove one half of the game's features only to release the DLC months later because ignore. we want your money. Quality Assurance Department signed off on this. I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally. Oh, you'll cancel them now? Let's do it. <sighs> yeah, cancel them. I built Twitter cancel them. Let's go. Okay, write it to it longer. Afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. My god. Yo, this game went from 2013 to 2022 and they're like, shit, we got to cancel people now. You're still with me. Why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Fuck you. Stanley, what the fuck? Come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. My, I know it's, this game is newer, but like, why you gotta put Among Us into this shit, man? Fuck it. I'm venturing. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Oh my God. my in heaven i call it the memory zone it's where i've been storing all my favorite memories so i can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever i want experiences like the launch of the stanley parable on pc oh but now i can't jump anymore You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Tell him. Back then, it all meant Tell him. Oh, the waste. Hey, didn't I do, like, the fucking... <laughs> Go outside, don't play for five years. Unachievable. It's impossible to get this achievement. Bro, you're not gonna let me sit on the bench. Je 
Hello? And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley okay. Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all, all of, them. of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. What is it? Tell him. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. I go to the maintenance zone. Okay, I'm gonna know my dogs are barking. I wanna make sure I'm not getting robbed. Give me one second. Give me one. Give me one second. Why are y'all spamming colon D? What the fuck? What happened? Are y'all okay? Hello, chat. Are you good? Did you forget to take your meds? Huh? AFK face? Oh. My fault. Anyways. What happened was... Uh, my dog was barking because she was bored. <laughs> The Stanley Parable on PC and consoles. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. 
The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with Tell in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Fuck! I wanted to order some Middle Eastern food in his clothes. <laughs> okay, anyways, they gave you a nine, bitch, not a 10. Why are you, why are you, why are you happy about that, huh? Could have been better. Clearly it wasn't perfect. They gave you a nine, bro. Shouldn't have been left alone. Oh. <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Yo, oh, no. this is oh, all no. a facade? Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam. The online oh, video game Oh, the Steam reviews were fucking brutal, years. weren't they? I can't even imagine the Steam reviews were here. brutal, weren't they? Were I already well, know, they? know the Steam reviews were cooking your ass up. Oh, that's why you hid them away. Uh, that's why you hid them away, because you were scared of the Steam reviews. Oh, let's go. They're going to talk shit, aren't they? Yes, sir. Honestly? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Tell him. Tell him, Steam. Unfunny. You're unfunny, bro. I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights uh -huh. that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Stick them up your ass, bro. It'll fit greatly. I heard that shit can... Listen, I know you can fit a couple raccoons up there. You can fit a couple Steam reviews, okay? Listen, Steam reviews aren't that scary, man. You can stick a couple up your ass. It won't be that bad, okay? Might be into it or something, too. You never know. You know? Pause, you said that. Wrong, wrong chat. Wrong chat. Hey, 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 you did not hear that from me. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? Yes, you are. You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you're preachy. You no you're pre preachy. This is actually quite shocking for me. You're preachy. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. You did. Perhaps the you Stanley suck. Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Motherfucker said, "Yo, listen, listen. That's like going. That's like going to uh. That's like yo. That's like the debate I had yesterday with Mika. That's like going to a high fashion show and expecting normal consumers to fuck with it. What you trying to do? Sell a, sell a art piece on Steam? Steam? Where gamers buy games in mass? You trying to sell a thought provoking art piece on Steam? Stupid. And I teach you about demographics in your fucking business class for your marketing department, stupid, huh? Demographics don't align with the majority of player base that pre existing on Steam, okay? You wanted to make some thought provoking work of art, you should have sold it on your own fucking website. That way, a bunch of random people wouldn't have encountered it and not fucked with it. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. Oh, God! Oh, Yo, they play button. this for nine hours? A skip button. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think I can do that. nine hours? Too preachy, then. then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment? Surely it couldn't happen. Nah, because you can't even refund it after it that point. means we can strike these negative reviews from the record? Oh, my God. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today. What the fuck? And it's always been my motto. 
I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a sh <laughs> Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video yeah. games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but uh -huh. if I had to describe it, yeah. I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Yo, tell me I'm lying when I say this game is like Vox, the, 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 the narrator. My man just be explaining stuff sometimes in a collab, and I'm like sitting there like trying to understand, and my mind just like goes to like eight different places, and then I just randomly say poop. And I was like, why did you say poop? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm stupid. And then, you know, like I changed the subject. <laughs> Dopey will just be cooking, bro. And I'm like, um, nah, you know, yesterday when you said dietarily cringe, that, sh <laughs> that shit was great. That was amazing. If Vox and Dopio had a baby, it'd be this narrator. They oh, can just talk and cook, and I don't know what they're cooking, man. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly, and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a... I'm trying to click it right now, Chad. It's not letting me. Absorption, it Oh, there we go. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Thank God. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know it's shocking, isn't it? But at Well, you're rambling to yourself when you ramble to me anyways because I'm not listening. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated and we can say goodbye to it and just, wait. How do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have got... Shut up. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 Thank hours. God. And you still talking? You've just been frozen And you're there. still talking for 12 longer, hours. Really you've been talking. Longer, and my God, oh, no my God. We need a, yo. Stanley, we need to increase gone. the length of the button. Because you still talking? You still talking? Those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button, and if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no... Oh, Stanley, you're back. Are you all now? Back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... Hey. I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting and you here. you still a talking. To speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? And you still talking? talking. But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. So, I'll give it all up. I'll give up So you're like those people who want to talk about I'll their feelings, but then when you present the solutions, well, they get mad that you're presenting solutions need, and, and not just God, listening and spamming A on the dialogue box? Is to know that someone else you literally just want someone to spam A on your dialogue box? That's what it is? You're like one of those people that's needy? They don't like when you present solutions to the problems. They just want to talk as you. You're going to kind of similar. What, when do I rant about dumb shit that doesn't matter? Aside from like when, okay. When I'm streaming. You watch that little feature video. <laughs> don't call me out. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> but it's true. They're spamming A on the dialogue box. Tell me I'm lying. My God. Anyways, 
Why are you careful with your words now? What did I say? Isn't that like part of your job? No, no. As my job, it's part of my job. Yes. But when I'm not, you know, listen, I wouldn't walk up to a random person. You guys choose to listen to me. You turn on my stream every day. So you can click off. This motherfucker is still talking. You know? Is taking it in. These. Oh, hello. It's you. Are you like You're 80 now? Again. Welcome. You're like I 70, you dying, you deceased, what's happening? About you and about us and about mm. everything we've been through. About and us? So much time, I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. No. To begin with, there is only regret. Okay. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. Okay. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire okay. life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant... Anyway, so I was talking, chat. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, advertise some very, uh, you know, was an provoking stuff real quick. Um, you know, since he's talking about bullshit, I'm talking about some bullshit too. Let me just uh, real quickly. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing. What, but I, what, what, what did I call this thing? Like an eternity for okay. what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation for Once me. that, guys. It Let me just find this asset real quick. I Once I find known, this asset, it will be good. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced. All right. So why are you talking anyway? So the get well voice is on sale. Um, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. What he's cooking. But you know, if you would like to buy the get well voice, let me actually find the link real quick for you too. You know, because I'm like gonna be convenient for real. You know, I got you. Um, you know, you can get the voice pack. You know, right now. Um, you know, it features. You know, all of us. I'm in Group B. If you like to buy it. Um, you know, I that I could allow here, if you would like to buy my voice pack, you know, you can buy here with a, you know, KillConico voice pack, um, dot com slash, uh, KillConico slash, um, Nijisanji website. Um, you know, here you go. Um, new, uh, get well voice. Since I can't get well and clearly the narrator can't either because he's clearly not well. Um, I have a voice pack that can help you get well. Um, so. And the most unyielding fear I have ever known crept into my mind. And it is this sensation that I have been yeah. experiencing now for longer got than you, I bro. could have ever expected. I got you, bro. New get well voice. Mm -hmm. I'll pin it for you too, you know? Because clearly, you, you know, he need, the narrator needs it. He needs to get well. He seems like he's, you know, struggling a bit. You know, he's not doing so well. And, you know, on top of that, also a couple of other things aren't doing so well. So I'm going to just link this to you. And, you know, maybe it'll help you out. Um, because you and the narrator might need this. But the narrator definitely needs it. So I'll link it to him too as well. And I wish for you to know how excruciating it is. Anyways, and for thank you, you to be in true terror of its eventual arrival. If I... Oh my God, he shut the fuck up. Is he dead? Let's go. He died. Let's fucking go. We killed him. You fucking lying to me. I gotta listen to a fire alarm. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. You're still where talking? Are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain right, us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said first he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. Cerise, thanks for the 10 gifted. Thank you, thank you. If you got gifted by Cerise, make sure you say thank you in chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for the 10 gifted. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Yo, shout out to the gifters. Okay, how do I get out of here, man?
the end is never 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 the end you're not brainwashing me see this is what happens if you don't listen to the get well vp anyways as i was saying before uh <laughs> The Get Well VP, um, it's a very, um, um, you know, it's a very pivotal, uh, and crucial, and um, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying. My God. The fuck? Okay, it's daylight now. Yo, how many years have I been in here, bro? What, is there an apocalypse now? The world is ended? I don't like this shit. Wake up in like doom. What's happening? Hello? What? his co-workers were gone how are you what still alive i literally killed you stanley decided to go to the meeting room perhaps he had simply missed a memo new new content oh good you notice my sign yes i have something very exciting to show you i love new new content The new content is my favorite, you know? When's, when's there gonna be the new deluxe, ultra deluxe, limited edition, box art, gold premium content? I'm waiting for that. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. Uh -huh. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further which is why i'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the stanley parable 2. 
Now we're getting summer. Look at how nice this shit looks. Yeah. Look at this shit. No more ugly ass office. We modernized this shit. Like, this looks like a nice ass office, brother. Right here, gotta be up the ass to own the building. But, you know, I appreciate the fact that you're making an effort, you know? Like, shout out to you. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Yeah, all the new it looks great. I need a commission of room asset to look this good. Entirely new experience. This looks like a fucking up. Google Where office, bro. This looks like, like a Google office, so man. This shit look nice. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Yeah. Look like one of those Google offices, but you got like a touchscreen TV. Oh, the Stanley Parable too is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable too. Now that's an artistic statement right there. Bro, this does it's look like a Google point. office. What the it fuck? Progress and Someone said they're back. Two doors. Long-term franchising potential. Yo, look, you got your marketing team correct this time. Look at this, bro. You, you're capitalizing on the nostalgia fact. Yo, this is a Google office. What the fuck? What? Oh my God. This is so fancy. Hello? I've been to a Google office before. He's right, bro. Someone said he had to go through enough a death and decomposition to finally do something else. Yeah, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable Two is. You prefer to be, an office asset or a bedroom a asset? No, I've I've an office. I mean, uh, ah, bedroom. I the fuck? figure what the if office? I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical. Yeah, new features. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, Expo Hall. My God, you got a fucking museum? Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. A button that says the name of the player that's playing the game. Is this, is this actually docs people? For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button, which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Only says the name Jim. Yo, you had my ass scared for a game, second. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Name, oh my god, it just says Jim. Yeah. Let's have you Bruh. role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. Oh my god, the backstory, bro. Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button. All right, I'm always somebody else's name. This. Okay, we're doing it again. And this time, let me finish first. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Imagine yourself driving to work as Jim, playing frisbee on the weekends as Jim. Staying up all night for a popcorn and horror movie sleepover as Jim. Developing a crippling substance addiction as Jim. What? Rediscovering I... yourself through fringe religious groups as Jim. My man 
there and said, I had an addiction and now I'm discovering myself through fucking bullshit religious. What the fuck? Hello? After that, thanks for the soup. And Angie, thanks for the gifted. Thank you, thank you. Jim. And finally, dying a slow death at an old age, surrounded by members of your cult. My Does cult? You, do you feel it in your soul? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. No, 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 no. I don't feel like a Jim. Suddenly, my name is, um, my name is, uh, 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 John. I feel like a John today. Fuck y'all, Cole, you got me fucked up. Where, where's the exit, bro? Where the fuck is the exit? Yo, get me out of here, bro. No, no, no. I'm not gonna have some addiction and some cold. I already got enough health issues, enough problems in my life, enough trauma, okay? I don't need you to give me some new shit. Where's the exit? Where's the vent to? I'll speak in Japanese if you let me out, okay? Vento, uh, vento. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see, what a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. It's like a little kid trying to like. I want. I want you to like play pretend toys with him. I swear. But, like, you're a grown-ass man. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. What is... Let's that? take a break from the gym. What is wrong with you? Too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Yo, my man literally said... First of all, when I pressed the gym button, he laughed at me. What's funny about me being Jim, huh? First of all, first and foremost, Mr. Narrator. Second of all... Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the Jim button away. No! Otherwise, soon you'll no! start to lose all Jim. sense of no! Jim. No! Jim. Jim. No! Okay, where's the John button? Where's the John button? Okay, well, we're back in the... I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That you can would code it better. Save me the work of finishing Please, no feature. screenshots. What happens if I take a screenshot? Wait, I actually want to see if anything happens. What's the print screen button again? Twelve. The baby is all going up bankruptcy. Nothing's happening. The button that says the name of the player is playing the game Jump Circle Infinity Hole. Alright, fuck the map. I'm just walking around. Merch. Epilogue Collectibles Infinity Hole. Bitch. Where's the Infinity Hole? Oh. Free achievement.
Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever. I'm going to be honest. Listen, the if it says free achievement and then the room looks like this, you're getting mugged. Okay, chat, run. My God. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who are oh. uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. And you didn't even fucking have it happen. Dumbass. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Opening rim depth infinite surrounding area. Yeah, I wish the depth was length infinite. What the fuck? Yeah, I love how it just says it just keeps going. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. I remember that, 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 that. End of time what was it, Tomska? Like. Is that his name? Video of the hole? You know that old-ass video? Where is it? The hole. That's us, chat. I was going inside some orifices. Woo! You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum. Oh, so it's not infinite. Is what I'm hearing. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. Oh. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. Astonishingly, it is. Is okay. It infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and You're a, a scammer, you're so motherfucker! Clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're... No, no, you're not gonna gaslight me, motherfucker. Well, See, I knew you were lying to me. ...wants to fall infinitely. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. No. <sighs> Bro, look at this dude trying to fucking make it my problem. You are such a gaslighter. Oh, my God. We didn't mean. Bro. Why don't we just put all this behind us? Why are you manipulating man playing male wife in me right now, bro? I cannot believe it. How fucked up. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. <laughs> a normal person would have VTuber fans be like, yeah, I do. I love me some holes. <laughs> Don't need to see it all, but not you own. No, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time. Yo, oh, listen, I, they know before. what type of I mean, sussy shit y'all be up to in them NSFW tags. The game knows. I didn't think it was that naughty. The game knows. Well, I suppose once again, there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Nope, I'm Gosh, a VTuber fan. We I need more guessed? holes. You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing with... Wow. 
Damn. Okay. Damn, your hole's yeah. so short, bro. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole Little is not asshole. only not infinite, Stupid. but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. The manga thinks the four months. starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see scratching <laughs> it the can't be scratching the edge. Who am I to judge? You. My man did not just say, "Damn, that bitch too shallow." There's no way you're still interested. He violating. He said, "You got a kiddie pool." He said, "What is this, bro? A fucking bottle cap, huh? What is this? Uh, a change in terrain? What you do? Step down one step?" My man said, you a pe your hole is so tiny, it's a Petri dish, bro. Your hole so fucking shallow, that shit's a Petri dish for some bacteria. Your hole is so shallow, it's, it's shallower than my inflatable ass pool for my fucking dog. Your hole is so shallow, a slip and slide has more depth. Your hole is so shallow, a level surface is deeper. In fact... Your hole isn't even fucking concave. That shit's convex. At this point, your hole is bulging. What the fuck? What? You don't even have a hole, bro. What is this shit? Goofy ass. Couldn't even fit a Tic Tac in that hole. It's so tiny. God damn. L. Fucking shallow motherfucker. That's me in this shallow, bro. Could not be me. Cannot relate. Are you doubling down? <laughs> you just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. What's wrong with... What's wrong with holes? Hmm? Your hole so... Your hole is so tiny, it couldn't even trigger somebody's trypophobia. That's some disrespectful ass shit right there, personally. Oh. 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 That would get me fucked up. Hmm. Is the, um, teleport button not working? You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a bit. Fucking spaghetti ago. ass code, again. bro. Oh my god. Still nothing. Well, I suppose. I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. What? I couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time whoa, with it whoa, whoa, than you could whoa, whoa, ever have asked for. Get your stupid ass everyone. back here. You, get you know you're gonna get lonely without I anyone to, to talk to, anyways, bitch. Anything. Even though I don't listen to you, you know you're gonna get lonely. Care, Stanley. What? No, 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 no. Have a wonderful rest of it. Listen, I know I'm in Niji Sanji, but I'm not in Octic. So why you put me into this stuck in the abyss shit, bro? Okay, I want to get out. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to be stuck, man. Let's get it started. Let me out. Let's get it started. Come on. I can't get shit started when I'm stuck in the abyss. What the fuck? Hello? Hello? Um, yo, yo, this is not funny anymore. Yo, 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 for real, bro. Like, I'm really, I'm not in Octics, man. I'm not in Octics, bro. I'm in a Luna. Yo, 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 let's get it started. I didn't mean, like, let's get it started as, like, let's get more stuck in the abyss. I mean, like, let's just go up, not down. Yo. So dramatic for no reason. Oh my god. Oh, ew. Why do we look like that? Look at our eyes. What in the low poly?
<laughs> Let's go. Okay. I'm liking where this is going. Yeah. We go in the hole. I ain't no fucking mole. You ain't got nothing on me, bro. I'm gonna go. Wait, change my right. Cause holes are human too. That's the vibe he's giving me. Okay. Oh my God, we're one in the same. Going in the holes, I ain't a sprout mole. I play the Stanley Parable. Nobody Stanley. likes to skate. Whoa, yo, you oh, fucking no. interrupted my it's rap, you bitch. Oh my Drifting god. Away into dreamland, but we can't nah, 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 narrator, I dead don't fuck with you now. Nah, down. I was start. I finally got my right, groove on. Right I was ready second. after fucking you around with your stupid. Single moment. So, how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up? Nobody Could likes you, you bro. Leave. On the hill. From the looks of things, bro, I swear they won't let me cook because they knew I was about to spit some bars, bro. I swear. Hill, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Oh my God. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodlepip. So you interrupt my rap and then leave me? I know you're jealous you can't spit bars like me. I know you are, man. I know. Listen, I would be insecure too, okay? Your brain can't think of shit that fast. You're a little dumb. All you do is read stuff off a script. I know. But why do you have to fuck up my shit? Come on. Matt, answer the format. Come back before Kill has a blackout. Wait, what? What do you mean? Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Get well someday? Because <laughs> it ain't going to be soon. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, I got the joke dramatic, the blackout because of the Niji Sanji debut song. I just, I just understood that. I'm so stupid. Get well someday. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece. Are you serious? Why he right though? Sometimes when you solicit someone else's opinion, you kind of knew what you wanted the whole time. He is actually not lying. If you're ever really unsure about something and you ask a friend and then you hate their answer, you knew what you wanted Literally. all along. Maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Anyways, um... Just like what happened yesterday with Uki. He knew he wanted to run the whole time, but he was lying to himself. And then once he finally decided, you know... I'm just saying. Even though, like, everyone else thought I was the right choice, you know? Ah, like, a couple, 2,000 people to, like, now one. It's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, y'all run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. 
you're a little too honest, bro. Yeah, you know those people that play those games where it's just like you just like how much you can complete. That's how I feel about y'all motherfuckers. You just want the number to go up, man. You just want it to go up. Cookie clicker, yo. What's I'm calling y'all out. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely. You know what, Stanley? I actually think the jump circle was a pretty good idea. I'd like to hang on to that for the sequel. I'm going to close my ass on and get motion sick. Anyways. Where's the bucket? B. Am I crazy or is this map like not accurate? Common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. Hi, child, what you feeling? Pepperoni pizza or cheese? Can I do half? Wait, pause. Can I do have an end? Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Wait, hold up. Pepperoni. Why does pepperoni look a little bit different than normal pepperoni? What the fuck? No, thank you. Right, what else are we trying to get? Mm. So I'm, I'm hungry, bro. I got to order this before this shit closes. I feel like Scarla. I'm like, what do we want? Chicken Parmesan Papa Bite. Chicken Parmesan. My God, I love Pizza Hut, bro. Okay, actually, I really don't. But, like, Loki is the only thing that's open, man. What 
else that guy? Oh, fuck. Wait, I'm gonna order Papa John's. Yeah, that feels... I feel like that would be good. Yo, actually, okay, my sisters, like, hate Papa John's. They're like Domino's people. I don't really fuck with Domino's like that. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this I mean, I can throw open this when I feel motion sick, so low-key, you're kind of onto something, man. Oh, my fucking genius, mother... Oh my I mean, think about that, bro. You're kind of... Bro, you're fucking smart. How he not? Be fucking with me like that. I feel so loved. I feel so loved. I feel so loved. Okay, what else do I got? Dessert? Am I in the mood for a dessert? Oreo? Oh, we get meat. Oh, we get Oreo cookie bites. You think I'm not gonna try that shit? Oh, what? Hello? Okay. Um. So what do I do with the bucket? Like y'all talking about this bucket being great, but like, what do you do with the bucket? Hello, Mr. Stanley Parable Bucket. Bring it with you. Emotional support. Okay. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? You know what? Bucket's kind of really cute. Should be what should we name it? I'm going to name my bucket Ron. Ron just seems like the name of a bucket. If your name is Ron, I'm sorry, but your name sounds like the name of a bucket. We're like a Doug. We're like a Bertha. Bertha the Bucket. Bertha the Bucket sounds great. Birth of the bucket. Yeah. Welcome to the party. Okay, what else do I need? There's merch. Scan the merch. Wait, is this real? Hold on. If I scan this and I get real merch, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. I'm so confused. There's nothing here. What? The video? Can I leave? I have my bucket. I don't know if I'm allowed to watch the video on stream since so it's right. not in the game. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Yeah. So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? 
Oh. Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent I mean, they, they video. Feature, game, the features be featuring, you know. Some. It's going to I work. like the bucket. It's definitely a good Bucket's game my favorite somewhere. feature of them all. See, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's Bro, the Expo, okay, the Expo Hall was better. The Expo Hall was better. Let me do a different The Expo Hall was better. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. Okay. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable uh -huh. and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Okay. Well, I suppose it could. This new sounds really familiar. I don't know what other thing I've heard him in. Screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. What? That ass. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, hell no. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bruh. Hold on. I need to make sure I have this correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, bet. I got my pizza order. Let's go. Can we share the pizza? Yeah, where did my bucket go? Wait! Where did Bertha go? <laughs> they did not take away my bucket. Stanley picked up my bucket! Bu Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest 
and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the, the lift fuck? all the way to the top. Oh, he improvising now. I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Where? No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. I don't give a Stand fuck. My bucket's going through. Okay to bring the bucket here. No. Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what is No, I want my bucket in here. That would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness. I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. But now then, I'm going to run you through some tests. It's kind of a nice theater. What the fuck? Tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? Okay. This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or okay. is not a bucket. Okay. Okay, let's begin. Item one. Is this a bucket? Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual Wait, bucket. what? Wait, I thought I was trolling. Wait, is he trolling me? Item two. Is this a bucket? Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Huh? Item three, is this a bucket? Looks a little too pixelated to be a bucket, sir. Incorrect. This is a bucket. Item four, is this a bucket? Are you hallucinating? This is a no. Tractor. It's a bucket. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. It's a bucket. It's, it's a gimmick. How it's a bucket. To Why are you lying Absolutely to me? What is this gaslighting? Let's just move on to the next one. Is this a bucket? Correct. This is what. Are we brainwashing him? Oh my God, we're gaslighting. Item six. Is this a bucket? Trick question. Both. Gotcha. What? I... Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Yo, so I'm gonna have a, a out of context clip of me just like, is this a bucket? And I click the obvious wrong answer and they're just gonna cut it before the end. And then they're just gonna be like, Kill Conoco is so stupid. 
Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything I know here, the bun was glowing. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. No. And bucket therefore, is everything. nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? You know what? I'm too confused to even Yeah, say we're breaking his mind. Fuck you, bitch. Sense of perspective. You can no longer what break me. Bucket, what isn't a I bucket? will break Mere you. Moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now, I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I? Yeah, you're a bucket, bucket. technically, because technically Stanley, you hold food. Doing this. So you kind of are a bucket for real. If you think about it, you're just a bucket with like I'm afraid the bucket extra is steps. to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry, but I'm going to erase all buckets. No! Entirely. Okay, here we go. Wait, so you're going to delete everything? What happened? Is everything gone? Yep, because I think everything's a bucket. Everything disappear? Wait, everything's everything a bucket. A bucket? Everything's Every a bucket. Everything in the game was a bucket. Oh my God, I had no idea. Stupid! What did I, I tell you, bro? Except me, I'm not a bucket after. No, all. you're a bucket too. And you, Why are you lying to yourself? You're, you're a bucket. Here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. Fuck! No I want it to be a bucket. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease. No. It's to get some clarity on that issue. But it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else... Your head look like a bucket, that, my Oshi. Who knows what that information might do to a <laughs> yeah, person. Yeah, thanks all for... Right, I'm your bucket, go. Oshi. Thank you so much, Missy. And you're my bucket viewer. Thanks. I'm glad we can all... You know, as they say, don't fuck it with the bucket, okay? Don't fuck it with the bucket. You fuck with the bucket, Standing you're gonna get the, the like bong, the okay? Hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes, good. I want to see what happens if we go to the phone. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket Oh, fuck! Asked. I ought to walk. Wow. Well. Um. Do I have to restart? Wait. The sequel is now paused. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What the fuck Stanley is decided here? to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply... The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. The bucket did kind of make me feel better because like, I know I didn't reset it on fuck shit up. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on it. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I 
that a rare spawn? Let's go. I don't know what the fuck that means, but hey. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question the bucket why got or that how dog this bucket in him. was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. What dark room? Oh, this? Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. <laughs> oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Paz, fuck you and fuck Were the you bucket. you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do yeah, things. Yeah, no, it's you, Buckets stupid. Can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the no, joke? No, joke was funny, ass. Stanley, Terrible. The talking bucket. No. Uh, can't you see? I'm, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Hmm, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. But there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. You're not about to... One is comedic timing. Oh, my God. What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used Longer to effectively than how long you silence last in your bed. political enemies? And more importantly... Can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. Yeah. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 50 what? degree angle from your body. We doing These calculus are the now. Optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the huh? recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. But you're not dummy because your whole life Good. is funny, stupid this bitch. This thing is a perfect yeah. example of yeah. expectations management. Got nothing management, going for you. Your life's a joke. Of good How's it comedy. feel? Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rat they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. What? Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers. No, because let me talk about this. Have you ever gotten a psych evaluation? What they'll do is they'll like add in questions that don't matter throughout the evaluation. Same with like, me like, like psych evaluations for medical like treatments. They'll add in a bunch of bullshit ass questions that don't fucking matter so they know you're paying attention. Literally. So if you start fucking failing the obvious questions that like literally only have one correct answer, then they think you're like fucking trolling and they like they nullify the evaluation. And I swear to God. It makes the psych evaluation like two times as long. Like, oh my God, yo. Listen, some of us are not liars, okay? I've taken like eight of these, man. Just believe me for the one time. Me. For the one time, believe me. Choose me.
at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12 legged invader who threaten our very existence. What? And a very likely dying of a political of shit. And mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us, and their children after them. Godspeed the and may fuck? Earth reign supreme. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are... So you're trying to tell me I've been controlled by a, a world? I have been getting mind controlled? Because we already, we already determined that. By a narrator and a society that's run by these, like, fucking... Insect like spider arachnid creatures with human legs the whole time. What the fuck? Still as relevant today as they no. I don't really appreciate this revelation. Personally, like I feel like I feel like my whole life has been a lie. My whole life has my whole life and my whole, my whole life has been a lie. Are you serious? My whole, my whole life. Loki, that's crazy though. They were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate no. comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. So they literally won't let me... You've lost your short-term memory. It's one year later and you've been playing this game ever since. Wait, what? Wait, you didn't know about the Great War against the Iraq Innovators? No. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say. How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now. Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. I'm so confused. The war began a thousand years ago, Kill when Arachnids first invaded? What the fu- Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? What? I think this was all covered very clearly. There's no way. So now you want me to disobey you? Now it's done. The joke is completely done and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. 
I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. <coughs> well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, 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 what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point, a dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit, which culminates in this scene with the phone. Oh, my pizza's now, here. One sec. Is completely off. <laughs> the will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling whelp. I think... I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Yes, surely that will help me improve my... Stanley, you love the bucket so much it's like you... <clears throat> it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Wait, what the yes. fuck happened? Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale with shame? Pale... What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so mental, I think I saw it playing guitar. He knew you were AFK? <laughs> getting away from Wait, really? Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I'm just... I'm no good at these jokes. Someone said bro, get off the stage. Exactly you didn't pause? That's what will make Wait, the did he actually know? No instructional videos. Let's see, let's see. No, he didn't. I'm confused what this fucker wants from me personally. And um I don't understand. I want you to do what he says? But then when I do what he says, he said, Oh, I wanted you to disobey me. So like at this point he's being uh, uh indecisive himself. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Okay, fuck the bucket. Perhaps I'm gonna jump off again without matter. the bucket and see what happens. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And here it was, the lounge. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong now, fuck foot you. here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your Wait, trust can I jump down there? Difficult. My god, there's the one of the achievements. The there's an achievement, chat! Nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero yeah, fuck consideration you, no cares. for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley, you found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort you of You shut up, man. Oh, my God. Job. If I knew you were going to so, talk this much, I wouldn't have collected the fucking award. You're still going. You You're still going. Beautiful figurines. All right, I'm blue gang. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. 
Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, so you don't like things that are blue. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? So you don't like me for real. Ah. Uh. You don't like... I still don't think we're communicating. Are you serious? Stand okay, fine. Fuck me then. The fuck me then. Door. Fuck me then. Fuck me. No, no, fuck. Since you don't like blue shit, fuck me then. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. I'm not even streaming anymore. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. I swear to God, I hate this fucker, bro. Like, how? How does he always disrespect me? Huh? Hmm. What do we want? Bitch, I walked backwards. What, what the fuck happened? Hmm? What? I walked, I didn't even go in the door he added. I walked backwards and went to the door I came from. Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here. Why do you sound aroused? Right in this moment with this place. Why do you sound aroused? I think I feel. Nah, you're just happy. horny, dog. You're not happy, you're horny. I actually feel Happy. I know you can conflate the two, <laughs> horniness and happiness, but they're not the same, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, it's blue. Yo, this kind of cool. I don't know what I'm seeing or what I'm looking at, but, um... Am I high right now? It's like a, one of those sensory videos. Okay, I'm I'm it's green now. Fuck green. I want blue. No, wait. Where are you going? You took too long. Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. I always found you fucking annoying. No! Oh. Fuck! You lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Why? Oh, can we please get back to the other room? No. No. I'm gonna lower no, my HP. Doing, Even if I have to please, take chip damage. Even if I have to take chip damage. Even if I have to take chip damage, I'm gonna lower my HP. I don't give a fuck. I will both go back. Why are you doing this? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? You're a psycho. 
You've been my controlling God. everyone. Is this really how much you dislike my game? I don't dislike your game. I dislike the way you've been controlling us for years. Over and over to be rid of it? Yes. You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am yeah. I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just Yo, stop emotionally manipulating wrong. me. You're literally controlling me. Too much you won't ask. let me leave. You keep yeah, keeping here. Keep me in this room. I don't give a fuck, man. Well, fuck what you built. What you built was a manipulative lie. You feel bad? Well, then you're going to get... You're going to get... You're going to get control, chat. Don't fall for the emotions. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. I'm so shut up, I'm a soft bitch. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. I'm gonna go here. Stanley took the door on his left to go back. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Good Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you what? very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. No, you're the not. You did not fucking submit for a group Stanley therapy Carol. session. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. No, no, Classic no. You did not. You did not ambush game. me. Give me the fuck out of here. You did not possible. ambush me with because a group therapy. No. Want they want more of no, go up. Jokes. Shut up. Bucket Shut up. Oh my. Before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. No. 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 Oh my god, you won't shut up! Are you serious? Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. I don't like this. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need no! to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. 
Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone. Not my fucking not the bucket. bucket Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was hey, this game, I'm um, be honest with you, I have no clue, bro. I've been playing it for like four hours and I don't even know, no, man. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be. Here, have the bucket. Given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders. Right the bucket. Now, I fuck with the broom closet more than this the narrator. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no, we're getting into name calling now. It seems. Take the, is take the bucket. the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults. Take the bucket. In order to get you to hand over the bucket. I see. Thanks for the donation. This game is really beyond the pale. <laughs> <laughs> that I was not as funny as it should have been, bro. Thank you so now much for the five dollars, yo. There's no way I laughed at that. The are not truly deep and lasting How do I friends? leave it? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient. That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner. Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Is he just going to keep talking? How do I give the bucket to the closet? Okay. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. There. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see, I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, oh, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Um... So like, can I leave the bucket here or no? You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket.
Um. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, what happens if we go back? To himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come what? from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. He exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance, ah. that moment, calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. Oh my None God, there's so his. many. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley, find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. What? He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was in. Oh my God, am I the life. bucket? It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no She bucket. stole my bucket. Of That's why I died. This bitch stole mad, my bucket. Ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Marietta thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself. So the bucket my stops us from getting mind controlled. And she backflipped all the way to work. What? She backflipped? All right, chat, I'm done. No, that's it. We're done. I'm also getting tired. Oh my god, bro. This game, like... I feel like... I feel like... I feel like I went on a bad trip. Legitimately. My favorite ending unseen. Okay, we're done, -y, chat. We are done -y with the funny today. <laughs> we're done -y 
with the funny today chat My favorite ending was the one where Or we were like in the ceiling and my mans was left alone The skip on one was good too You haven't seen the best endings yet such a shame oh i can't stream forever you thanks so much for the super thank, thank you so you never found chris your oc bro chris wasn't even in the bucket room my god like my brain like doesn't work anymore man holy shit Oh my god, I don't even know what happened. Chris was the bucket? Or was he? Here's the thing. I play this game and I have like such bad neuralgia pain today. Like I'm already feel like I'm disassociating. So now I'm like disassociating with the game. So if you might be disassociating like me or you're having a bad day, you know, get the get well voice pack. I pinned in the uh the <laughs> I'm so good at marketing. Get the get well voice pack part uh pinned at the top of the, the thing with the thing. Yes, sir. The ending is never the ending. The ending is never the ending. Stop, James, okay? It, it has to end eventually, okay? Everything comes to an end. I'm gonna die. You're gonna die. You know, it's okay. Maybe the voice pack can be cursed Stanley. This is extortion using medically motivated means of product sales. <laughs> Yo, I love how you got time to for saying <laughs> my fault, but you know, I don't worry, I'm joking. Don't worry, I you know the timeout was automated. My fault. <laughs> my fault. Uh you know. I mean L, I guess, but you know. James, thanks for the super. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I this game was interesting. Tomorrow we're gonna do more Mind Break because I'm gonna play Q Remastered. Well, actually, I was cracked at Q Remastered when I played it on Run Stream. Like I was pretty cracked at it. So maybe I'll be cracked. Maybe. Guess guess where you go? No. Yeah, I did, but like I helped Ren on one of the harder levels. I mean, he was stuck on that shit for like an hour. I don't know. Ren's kind of like you know. I mean, third years are a little dumb. You know, kind of is what it is. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm excited for that. Um, and yeah, as always, thanks you guys for coming out to the stream. I'm sorry I wasn't feeling the best today, but hopefully it was still okay. Um, you're fine, don't worry. That ain't like, I don't remember. I don't know half the shit I said this stream. So if I get canceled, um, listen, I was delirious. Um, and your cancellation is, um, ableist. Yeah, I'm gonna throw out another buzzword, Twitter, so that you feel guilty for canceling me. Yeah, how's it feel, huh? You cancel me? <laughs> you <can> I'm <laughs> playing your own games. I'm using your own tricks against you. Yeah. How does it feel? <laughs> Uh, Chumi, thanks so much for the super. Chill too, thanks for putting yourself through psychological torment for us. Hope you feel better soon. Yeah, thank you. The out of contact clip is gonna have a ball with this one. Yo, actually. All right, so enjoy your pizza. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate it.
Thank you for the stream. Have a nice rest. Yeah, I'm eating my pizza, bro. I'm excited. I haven't had Papa John's in like, in like years, bro. I've been trying to be better, more healthy. Here I am. <laughs> Listen, I've had a rough day, man. I don't know. All right, anyways. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow I feel better. Um, or I won't and I'll still stream anyways like I did today. Um, yeah. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. As always, have yourselves a good one. And for my final message, I would like to say for today, 5-3-2023, I am done with the funny.